What's up guys, it's great to be back after my two week hiatus. In this video, we're gonna be talking about November events in Japan. November mainly means two things in Japan, autumn leaves and the start of the winter illumination season. Sometimes you can get a two for one deal with some places doing autumn leaf illuminations. Links to all of the events will be included in the show notes below. First up, running from September right through to November 5th is the Karuizawa Momiji Festival in Nagano. Momiji is the Japanese word for Japanese maple, which is famous for turning vibrant red during autumn. During this time, you'll be able to participate in Momiji Gari, which is the Japanese term for autumn leaf viewing. Various tours will be run, but you'll also be able to participate in other activities such as visiting their museums and their old town while you're there. Running from late October to early January is the Saga Light Fantasy. This winter illumination will feature 1.8 million colored LEDs from 5pm to midnight every evening. The Light of Versailles winter illumination in Shizuoka runs from late October to late March. Every evening there are shows running every half hour from 6.30. It costs 1,000 yen for adults and 200 yen for children. Running from November 1st to 10th is the Gion Odori. This is the only traditional Kyoto dance performance to take place in autumn. Dating back to 1894, this performance will cost you between 3,500 and 4,000 yen, depending on whether you want to participate in the tea service or not. From early to late November, Himeji Castle will be illuminated. At the same time, the Saijiki Art Exhibition will also be held on the castle grounds. From 6pm to 9.30, you can view the illumination. Please note that if you're visiting the castle during the day, the art exhibit is included in the castle admission fee. However, if you're visiting at night to view the illumination, the exhibit is an extra 500 yen, because that's also an illuminated exhibit. So it's worthwhile visiting it during the evening. From November 2nd to 4th, the Karatsu Kunchi Festival takes place in Saga Prefecture. This is a float festival with a 400 year history. The highlight of the festival occurs on day 2, November 3rd. The floats are dragged along the beach through the sand, often getting stuck. The Hiroshima Ramen Stadium is on November 2nd. Vendors from around the country will be visiting and you can purchase any bowl of ramen for a reasonable 780 yen. Also in Hiroshima, but on November 3rd, is the Hiwatari Festival. Hiwatari literally means fire crossing in Japanese. Held on Itsukashima, aka Miyajima Island, Shinto priests will walk across hot coals with their bare feet. Even members of the public are able to participate, but you'll be doing so at your own risk, so please take care. In Ube City, Yamaguchi Prefecture, the Ube Festival occurs on November 3rd to 4th. The pre-festival is held on the evening of Saturday the 3rd. The main festival occurs on the 4th, which includes parades, dancing, entertainment stages, and delicious food. Okay, I think you may need to sit down for this one. Are you ready? There's going to be a gyoza dumpling festival from November 3rd to 4th. The city of Utsunomiya in Tochigi Prefecture is famous for its gyoza dumplings. One plate of three gyoza will only set you back 100 yen. If it weren't on the other side of the country, I'd be all over it. In Osaka on November 4th is the Waso Festival held at the Naniwa no Miya. Waso means I came in Korean, and it's celebrated by the more than 1,000 person procession during this parade. It celebrates all the people who have migrated to Japan from across Asia. Participants will be wearing brightly colored clothing. The Tochigi Autumn Festival will run from November 9th to 11th. There will be a procession of ningyodashi, or wheeled floats, which feature robed figures wearing gorgeous clothing at the top of them. At nighttime, lanterns will light up the floats to make them especially stunning. On November 10th is the Arashiyama Momiji Festival. Held on the Katsura River around the Togetsukyo Bridge are traditional performances on boats. Performers will be wearing brightly coloured Heian period clothing, and it all sounds very similar to the Mifune Festival which I covered in June. That video is available up here, as well as in the show notes below. From November 11th to 25th, the Grand Sumo Tournament moves to Fukuoka. This is the last major sumo tournament of the year. As with other sumo tournaments, the most crowded days will be the first few days, the weekends, as well as the last few days. Outside of those dates, you should be able to get unreserved seats with relative ease. 
From mid-November to early January in Osaka is the Festival of Lights. There are two separate events that actually make up this festival. The Osaka Hikari Renaissance runs from November 12th to December 31st. And the Mirosuji Illumination runs from November 20th to January 9th. The Mirosuji Illumination is officially recognized as the street with the longest illumination of trees in the world, along a four kilometer route. As for the Hikari Renaissance, the highlight is projections onto the historic Nakanoshima Library. On November 25th, there will be a Yokai Festival in Tokushima Prefecture. As I mentioned in my yokai video, yokai are mythical beings from Japanese folklore. There will be a yokai shrine procession, a yokai band, and a march of the yokai. This all takes place in Miyoshi, a town which is famous for yokai, and where I filmed the yokai house video. That's why there's a yokai museum there. Running from late November to late December will be the Nagasaki Christmas Illuminations. The markets at House Tenbosch aka Little Holland, will also be offering seasonal specialties. Also in Nagasaki, from mid-November to late December will be the Glover Garden Night Illuminations. Running from late November to mid-March is the Sapporo White Illumination. There'll be three locations for the illuminations, Odori Park, Sapporo Ekimaya Dori, and Minami Ichijo Dori. And that's it for my November events. As always, please let me know which event looks the most interesting to you in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing for weekly Japan food and travel content and hit that notification bell to know as soon as I upload a new video. My name is Lin Yun. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. What's up guys in... Uh, da, 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 is officially recognized as the street with the longest illuminate... As for the Hikari Renaissance, the the the, 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 the light of Versailles, winter Versailles, Versailles.